and he said, look, I'm too busy to take at the scrapyard at the moment, can you, um, he'll, he'll just leave it in his, or he'll leave it down his wood yard. Well, scrap prices went through the roof, he made an absolute killing. Good on him. Yeah. That's right, that's what I say. But, so all the aerials went. Um, so so when, when, when the ministry said, right, that's Simon's, you sort it. Is that that, 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 yeah, that, well, no, their brief was, the aerials was, the, the, all the, the farm, when they pulled out, the brief that VT Merlin had was everything had to go to ground level. Sorry. All right, everything went to ground level. And they says, oh, no, we're not taking the fences. I says, ah, that's not ground level. They're above ground. They have to come out. So we've got all the barbed wire rolled up by them. You know, I helped them do it. Yeah, yeah. We got all the fences taken away, and then they, there was big pieces of steel sticking out of the concrete about this yeah, far. Yeah, I remember. They, they like that, yeah. Yeah. they were. And I said, you have to cut those off. Because I said, I'm not going anywhere near that with my tractor. And they said, because I take a tire, I said, we're in a big plane. So that's what they did, was they took everything to ground level. Then when Simon took the, the farm over, we paid Lockhart's come in and, and demolished all the... Concrete square squares, yeah. concrete squares where the, they had yeah, ducting yeah, in them. Yeah. No, where they had ducting oh, in right, them. Yeah. And then we paid Smiths from Bletchington to come in, and I think they charged us something like thirteen thousand to dig all the concrete out the ground, which was all these bits here, right, right round all this here. And I think they said they could do it in two weeks, and they were here for five. And the idea was that they dug the concrete out the ground and had to backfill yeah. with topsoil. So that's what they was did. Was that the concrete where each pylon yep. stood? Yeah, every, 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 well you see it wasn't pylons, they were, they were just masts, weren't they? Because yeah. originally they were pylons that's years right. ago, weren't they? They were just mm. a finger. They were, and they were, that's why they're, they're shaped in triangles. So that's right. the actual mast only sat on a block about a metre square. Right. But each anchor point had about 25 square 25 cubic metres of concrete. So they were some... Huge. It was. But we, you know, we did say to Smiths when they took the job on, we don't know what's underground. We just have not got a clue. And they says, oh yeah, we can handle that. That's not a problem. So they come in with a big digger and they come in with a smaller digger and the smaller digger dug around the outside and then they had to get the big digger to try and... We were going to try and pull them out the ground. They were too big to pull out the ground. So they had to then get a pecker and break the blocks yeah. off, or, because what they evidently must have done was poured a piece of concrete like that, and then decided it wasn't big enough. So then they poured around the outside of it again. So that's that's you know, they were able to peck down the joints. My, my, my guess is Smiths provided the concrete in the first place. They, they, I, I wouldn't. They had, have, a, they had I, two boats for the chair. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have a clue. But the arrangement was that they were to take. They would take away all the concrete, backfill it with topsoil, and they crushed the concrete and then sold it back again. Yeah. So they were on a. They were on a. You know, because I think to buy crushed concrete, yeah. concrete's about ten pound a ton. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yes, was, right. they took out 20,000 tonnes. Two hundred pound a lorry load, that's right. My grandson just... Yeah. Yeah. Well, if they took out 20,000 tonne... They've had a lot of... <laughs> All right. Yeah. Plus, they charged us to do it. Yeah. Another 13,000. They were on a... Right, but they had to cover yeah. the costs. Yeah, and the, and, the, and the top soil coming back isn't cheap. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's... Uh, the, where they're ever stripping anything or whatever. Yeah. But that's... Yeah, you know, what an operation. But the, all these, these pieces here, that one and that one, were what they called those loop aerials. Do you remember those? Oh yes, I had the lads yeah. stay with me, bed and breakfast that put them in. Yeah, well those <laughs> those loop aerials, when I first come here, they were the dairy cows got out one night and they were down in this one here and they were rubbing the heads, they had the heads going down like this inside them, rubbing their necks on it, you see. I was so embarrassed and I what had happened. I went to the CO and I said to him, you know, I'm ever so sorry the cows got out. And you know, got it to your loop area. He says, oh, I didn't know anything about it. I says, You what? He says, I says, with all your surveillance, and you didn't know. <laughs> I says, What was that? What would happen? Because what sprung to mind? Was, no, what, what, what sprung to mind was Dad's army. Right. Yeah. And yeah. I says, What happened if the enemy had dressed up as dairy cows? So I says, You remember that Dad's army when they dressed up as a dairy cow? I says, Well, they could have snuck up on you. Well, I never. 
So they, he says, oh no, he didn't, he didn't like that very much. <laughs> so now all what the aerials that were put up in the 1940s, all remnants have gone, disappeared completely. Um, Almost all. You've still got some up, is there? No, we've got nothing there. But so yeah, it has the one that Ray Evans uses. Oh, that, that's the Mercury Tower, which is there. Mm. That was Mercury. That one's still there. That one's still there. Right. And the one on the bottom camp. But they're, they're NTL masts. Right. Right. right yeah. Those are both NTL. They're still military owned. Mm. That's why they're, yeah, they're providing the telephone industry. Uh, I don't know what it's to do with. I don't understand it. All right. But this one here was a Mercury. When... Because that was a Mercury mast on our ground, if you like, and not within the compound, Mercury had the option to come and take it yeah. away, and they never did anything about it. And so Simon bought it, because he said, oh, you know, it could be a money spinner there, we'll put, you know, Vodafone or whatever up yeah. on it. Yeah. And it never ever eventuated. They, they said, no, you know, the Vodafone wouldn't do it, but Simon still owned the mast. But anyway, one day Mercury people come in, they started stripping stuff off it. Next day they turned up with a crane to, to start and pull it down. And Simon said, block the road, they're not coming in here. So we blocked the road and there was phones going everywhere. And in the end they had to come back, put the stuff they stripped off it back on because Simon owned it. Good for Simon. So we, 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 we were that the one that Ray rents? Yeah, it's the one that mm. Ray rents. Mm. Now it's sat empty for, Ray come and ask them and they wanted it for the radio club and that mm. sort of thing or whatever it is. And they didn't want to buy it, so Ray says, well, I'll rent it myself, I'll have it. So he's he's up there all the time. He loves it. There's um, three of them or four of them up there. That's they, right. they absolutely love it. He goes up there and he says, "All oh, these weeds in this spray," and I go, "Piss off, you old bastard!" <laughs> <laughs> you know. And he uh, says, "Oh, this won't die." Anyway, he says, "You haven't used much. You know, it's it's, it's, it's not dead yet." And I said, "Look, you just leave it alone." Yeah. Right? yeah. You know, you go in there with Roundup. This is what people do. They don't understand Roundup. They go out. And they instant. <laughs> and they no, but they go out and they, they spray the plant with, with, with Roundup and then they go and pull the weed out. <laughs> or, or or they go and pull the weeds out and yeah. then spray with Roundup. Now Roundup only works on it's an active a systemic thing. Yeah, it only works on an actively growing plant. Now yeah. if you've got a long dry spell and the plant's not yeah. growing, it yeah. won't work. No. Yeah. It needs to actively be growing. But people don't understand that. And that's why they say, or oh, they go to B and Q, and they buy their their roundup from there, <laughs> and they say, "Oh, this the stuff you get from B and Q's crap." Well, you don't pull the plant leaves off and then try and sprout the roundup. <laughs> it won't work. But they don't understand that. As my father said, a little knowledge is a very dangerous thing. It is very dangerous. Yeah.